Have you ever heard of Igor Malinovsky? Does that name sound familiar? Have you heard about the tragic event that occurred in Russia that claimed the lives of three people and was ripped apart by bears? It stirred many people's hearts and came across as a shock to many. Come along with me as we investigate the facts behind the dreadful tragedy that took place in Russia. What's up guys? Welcome back to Deadly Addiction. And yet again we are here with another infamous storyline for you. Today we will be uncovering facts about one of the tragedies that took place in mid-July. You must be wondering how did this start? What happened during the helicopter ride? Where did these brown bears come from? Seems like there is a lot going on in this, doesn't it? Well, stick around till the end as we answer these questions and more as we explore into the final moments of one of the world's junior biathlon champions and his passengers. Grab some snacks as there is a lot that's going to be unraveled. Without further delay, let's get right into it. On July 16th, the visitors were flying around the renowned tourist zone of Kamchatka, a peninsula in Russia, when the plane's pilot, Igor Malinovsky, aged 25, suddenly lost control. It is said that there were two passengers on board, a wealthy couple, Sergei Kolesniak and Zoya Kegorodova, along with the pilot. Before we get into the story, let's start off by investigating who Igor Malinovsky was. Born in the spring, March 18, 1997, Igor Malinovsky was a Russian biathlete who participated in the Olympics and World Championships. He was a Russian Federation master of sports. According to reports, Malinovsky was a five-time junior world champion in biathlon before being sidelined by the pandemic. In case you were wondering what biathlon is, it is a winter sport that combines cross-country skiing and rifle shooting. He subsequently opted to retrain as a pilot and began working for his father, Vladimir Malinovsky, for a company that took tourists to secluded and stunning locations in Kamchatka. Now that we've had a brief introduction on Malinovsky, let's take a look at the couple that were traveling along with him, Sergei Kolesniak and Zoya Kegorodova. Kolesniak, who was said to be 39 years of age, was the CEO of Telt2 and Kegorodova was a well-known entrepreneur in her mid-thirties. She mentioned the positions of e-commerce, director at Simple and head of digital marketing at TSUVM department store, Moscow, as possible places of employment. Kegrodova declared in April 2022 that she will begin manufacturing hygienic tampons for ladies. The Ukraine conflict have led rich Russians to explore their own country rather than travel to famous Western places. The tourists were on a 4,250 pounds excursion to Kamchatka, which is famed for its beer-infested peninsula, as well as volcanoes and glaciers. Kegorodova is thought to have organized the trip. Despite the fact that Kegorodova organized the helicopter trip, governor of the Kamchatka territory, Vladimir Solidov stated, that the visitors did not register their flight. With that being said, let's actually take a deep dive on to the incident we are here to talk about. According to Russia's Channel 5 News, the crash was reported by the Ministry of Emergency Situations. It happened during a nine-day tour to the region amid bad flying conditions. The path they traveled on the day of the tragedy was centered on the Yuzon caldera, which is in the core of Kamchatka's volcanic zone. In that part of Kamchatka, there are no roads, and the only way to see the beautiful volcanic scenery was by a helicopter. Their helicopter was meant to arrive in the nearby town of Milkovo by 7 p.m. local time. But however, the connection with the ship was destructed, which triggered a search. The poor weather, which included dark clouds and limited visibility, prevented search and rescue teams from getting to work right away. Once the weather ceased, 
The next day after visiting the Valley of the Geysers in Kamchatka, Russia's far east, rescuers discovered the burnt remnants of the helicopter named Nadezhda, or Hope. The bodies of the three people were discovered on July 17th, a day after the disaster at the Semyachkov Pass, 13 kilometers from the Yuzon volcano. However, it seemed that Bran bears discovered the lifeless trail first, as they reportedly carried their carcasses away and gnawed at them. You must be wondering if the victims were killed by the bears, or were they already dead before the bears found them. However, it's unclear if the tourists had already died when the bears discovered them at the accident scene. Brown bears generally avoid harming humans unless they are threatened in some way. On the contrary side, they hunt and feed opportunistically and will readily scavenge. The Kamchatka brown bear is one of the world's biggest ursings, weighing almost 700 kilograms. And they have previously killed individuals. In 1996, a bear pulled famed Japanese wildlife. Photographer Michio Hochino from his tent in southern Kamchatka, killing him. The entire story of the occurrences that took place during the event has is yet to be resolved. With the entire incident being covered, I would want to mention that even if helicopter trips are thrilling and fascinating, rather than merely riding on roads, it has a lot of drawbacks. The risks are numerous, and the gain is minimal. As in the case I narrated, a slight error may be disastrous. Climate change generates a range of devastation, and flying helicopters during this time period is not the best idea. There isn't much we can do during an occurrence like this, but we can always be cautious. Whether we're flying or driving, some damages might be prevented if we give adequate safety equipments and educate individuals on how to rescue themselves in these types of circumstances. That's all I've got for you today, I hope. I've covered everything there is to know about this tragedy. If you have any thoughts, please leave them in the comments section below. We cherish our valued subscribers' input, so please do not hesitate to provide it. Also let us know if you want more stories like this in future videos. Your suggestions are of the utmost importance to us. And that's it for today's video. Please like, share and subscribe if you haven't done so already, and make sure to click the bell icon so that you don't miss any updates from us. Until then, stay safe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.